Oh, you know those graphics, they are among my favorite because we are continuing yeah. our new series, Vladdy to Daddy. <laughs> where we help like our... <laughs> it's Vlad to Dad, but Vlad I'm going to say... Vlad to Dad, I love that. Vladdy to Daddy. <laughs> We're going to help our own Vlad Dutte prepare for yes. fatherhood. It's right around the corner, and today we are highlighting books for people Actually, we have children of all ages, whether you are an expecting parent or couple, whether you got teens going off to college, we've got something for you. Uh, and a couple of the books we're about to talk about are published by Simon & Schuster, which, like CBS News, is a division of Paramount Global. But a lot of these books are not as well. And Amazon Books editorial director Sarah Gelman joins us now uh, for more on all of it. Uh, Vlad is Hello. here as well to yeah. soak in the knowledge. I'm ready for it. I feel a lot of responsibility right now. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. The expectations are very high. Oh, my so. gosh. I hope I don't mess, mess up your child. <laughs> <laughs> we learned you cannot mess up your child. Well, I believe that's a We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay, so, Sarah, book one is called Good Inside, uh, and it's by kind of an Instagram-famous parenting guru. Right. So this is Dr. Becky Kennedy, or Dr. Becky, as her followers call her. And she really rose to fame during the pandemic. She has 1.5 million followers on Instagram now. Wow. Oh, wow. And she believes that parents and children are good inside. And it's really this look at how she wants us to stop correcting our kids and instead really connect with them. And she takes very specific examples, things like problem behaviors like sleep or whining and sibling rivalry, and gives examples for those. I will say that I started reading this book. I used some of the tips with my kids, and they worked. So that gets my stamp of approval. Wow. Yes. So, but, like, when you say not correcting children, I mean, it's good manners to keep your elbows off the table, right? But there's a it's different way to deal to stand with up it. When a lady you don't, like, them. flick the elbow anymore. It's a different oh, yeah. way than <laughs> a different way. I think our parents were maybe you know, a little more focused shoe. on, yeah, Take like, the punishment. Shoe off. Yeah. Vlad has a dark childhood. <laughs> Sarah, just to prepare you for that fact, like you're, talk, oh. you're talking about that little pinch where you're like, I told you. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't exactly. embarrass me in this story. That's right. That actually hurts. <laughs> exactly. I had a thing the other day with favorite daughter Kirby, and her son is 14 <laughs> months. And I said, no, Luca, no. And she said, we don't say I no. do that to my mom, too. Yeah. drives her crazy. You know, tell him what he should do. I go, oh, How'd you feel when you heard How'd that? How'd you hear? Yeah, what did you... Annoyed. <laughs> we can't yes. say, no, don't do that anymore. So, but anyway. I actually feel like Good Inside is a book that I would maybe give to my family, to yeah. my parents, because no, it seems very good. gentle, and you want people to understand what you're doing. There's actually a reason behind it. Uh, the... the the other book, we can't actually even show you the cover of the title because it's got some profanity in it. Yes. But, and so we can only say the title. It is You Can't F Up Your Kids yeah, by Lindsay one Powers. Yeah. And Lindsay is and actually... you like this wine. I love this book. So Lindsay is actually an editor on my title. team. Yes, it's very <laughs> provocative. Yes. But before she joined my team, she wrote this book, and she was the guru behind this no-shame parenting revolution. And she's like, you know you have that friend who you want to take on vacation because they do all the research for you and you uh -huh. just show up? Yes. <laughs> Lindsay's like that friend, but for parenting. Okay, yes. okay. So she believes that we overstress way too much as parents mm. and that kids are resilient. And if you love them, they're going to end up okay. And she takes on some pretty controversial topics like drinking during pregnancy. She looks at screen time. She looks at the effects of divorce on kids. Mm. And I just feel like this book gave me so much hope. It's a great book to give to someone who's pregnant. She has some very liberating advice on pregnancy and childbirth. Okay. Right. I, I believe she's right about that. And by the way, guys, this is the, uh, the reason we can't say the title, that's the Federal Communications uh, <laughs> Video Card yes. Act. FCC, anyway. I'm, yeah. yeah. Um, so, so you're a mom of two boys. I am. This, this next book is for parents of two to seven-year-olds? Exactly. So this is How to Talk So Little Kids Will Listen. And <laughs> it's actually it's yeah, based great. on the bestseller How to Talk So Kids Will Listen and Listen So Kids Will Talk. And one of the authors of this book, Joanna Faber, is the daughter of the original author of the bestselling oh, wow. book. Oh. Yeah, so this is a book. It just gave me a lot of hope as a parent that I could be more patient and just a better parent with my kids. It takes specific situations like going to the grocery store with your little kids, which can be very challenging, mm. tells you how to deal with that. And my favorite thing about this book is that it has an entire chapter devoted to neurodivergent children mm. who have different needs than mm. non-neurodivergent mm -hmm. children. So this other book is focused Focused on raising independent kids, and you say it reminds you of 80s style parenting. And we were talking about that yeah. 70s yes. 80s style parenting. Grew up watching Gilligan's Island and yep. Star Trek and reruns because we were at home. I was a latchkey Gen X kid. Gen X, latchkey yep. like generation. Yes, and you stayed out and played. And I'm look at me now. I mean, I know. Like, <laughs> look at us, Vlad. <laughs> I'm right there with us. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so <laughs> Lenore Skenazi is the author of this book, and she actually became infamous when she wrote in her New York Sun column that she let her then nine-year-old son ride the New York subway all by himself. At and what age? What age? Nine? He was nine. Oh. A mature nine. And oh. yes, well, Tony, so how do you feel? That's a little that? early. No. I mean, a mature nine? No. I don't know. Yeah. He was called Eight? the world's worst Would mom. You, I remember these articles. Oh and there's a lot of, lot of chatter in Brooklyn about it. I think different now. I don't think you can I don't think that was that long ago. You don't? But she believes that we... Oh, we just no. protect our kids too much and that we should give them freedom to roam and that that's better for them. Yeah, I, she says this thing that she thinks that instead of baby-proofing our world, we should world-proof our baby. And I oh, love that. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we were young, we used to go on real deal adventures all day long. Really? Our parents really didn't care. We'd come they back didn't know in. where you were. <laughs> <laughs> limited limited we're out, questions. Yeah, we were out we in the back. woods. They're like, yeah, they're they're like look, he came to. back. <laughs> yeah. He made it. You were gone? I didn't even <laughs> notice you were out of the house. <laughs> Sarah Gilman, thank you so much.